Okay, so this is your drawing area for our floor plan creator. Um, just want to make sure that you understand um, that you may use Google and look at a floor plan to inspire your planning, but you cannot copy the floor plan as is, okay? Um, I also described that you cannot have a floor plan that only has four corners. So if you click a floor plan like this, it, this one only has four exterior um, corners. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, this one also has only four. So we're trying to avoid any rectangular uh, corner uh, or shape of the floor plan. This one would probably be one, two, three, four, five, six corners. And the requirement for your floor plan is going to be at least eight exterior corners. So. Uh, let's start with a floor plan that looks like this. You see that there's a bedroom, and it doesn't actually tell you the size of the bedroom, okay? So that's why we're using um, this floor plan creator so that you can actually uh, put in the um, size of the bedroom or have an idea of the size of the bedroom. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to click on our settings, and we're going to change our centimeter into... Uh, scroll down until you see feet inches so feet inch okay so pull that down and it's feet inch okay um, we're going to leave everything as is for now um, and then we're just going to click OK and then you're going to go to project and you're going to define the thicknesses of like the exterior walls uh, typically exterior walls we're going to make that around nine inches okay and then the interior wall uh, snap ditch distance, uh, let's just leave it at, at um, 4 inches. We can click OK. And then if you wanted to look at the floor plan, uh, you want to start probably with a bedroom. Okay, We don't know the size of the bedroom and how big it's supposed to be, so that's why we're using the floor plan creator. And uh, that bedroom is typically rectangular or square, so we can simply go here and click the square room. So click on this one, hold this down, and take it out, okay? And then automatically, these walls are going to have a thickness of 9 inches uh, according to our uh, project setting here. So these are exterior walls, okay? Uh, so this would be the shape of the exterior wall. So if you wanted to um, know if this room is going to be a size that's good enough for um, for a bedroom then you do have to put in some um, furniture here by clicking here and then you click on bedroom and then you can put in uh, a double bed um, so click here drag it out and put it there you can see that now, now you know that the size of the room is this much so this may be big for you okay uh, you can rotate that bedroom this way and then put it wherever you want, okay? And then if this is too big for you, then you can obviously click on this wall here. And then um, you can actually click on this corner and it would, it would um, move that at an angle, okay? You can click on this one and then it could resize that straight up and down. And you can see now the size on the side. It's now this is 10 foot 10. Uh, so if you want it to be exactly 10 feet, okay, you can move this up or you can, I think, double click here. Um, oh, I can't, I, I can't do it here. So let's just modify this and just click until it says 10 feet. So that's, this is going to be 10 feet. There you go. So 10 feet wide. This is 13 foot one. You don't want a 13 foot one. If you wanted 13, then you click on this wall and then you move that to at least 13 even. Okay, so that's how to um, see whether you wanted a, um, a um, room that this size and try to see whether the furniture will fit. Okay, um, so next, if you wanted to continue and add a, a wall, then you can, uh, don't forget to click Save. Okay, so to save the project, you can only do one project with the free version of, uh, of Floor Plan Creator. Go back to uh, structure, okay? Go back to structure. 
and then you can create a uh, walls okay by clicking here wall and then drawing a wall let's say here just draw it I can create it inside but I, I and that would create a wall there and then you can create another wall click the wall so you can create another wall here okay and then you can move this wall and connect that to the corner okay zoom in whoop and then move that click on here and then move that closer or and wait until it snaps same thing here uh wait until it snaps and then you can stretch to stretch this out and snap okay so that would be um your two walls as much as possible you don't want to have uh, something like this now uh, now that you wanted a a um, bigger room now because this will be too small now you can now click again this wall and then move that further and make that bigger okay and then this one too you can stretch that to whatever size you want or move that in here now, as I was saying, you, as much as possible, you don't want this uh, kind of um, uh, connection. So when you're drawing a wall, okay, you probably wanted to like draw the corner like that. Oop. There you go. Okay, and then uh, you may want to just fix this. Uh, this corner but yeah so that's how to expand your living space uh, you can select something and then simply press delete on your keyboard okay but uh, you want to start with a corner and then later expand this okay expand that And then put some divisions here by creating a wall separation. There you go. And then wait for it, this one to snap. Click here and wait for this one to snap. There you go. Okay. So it should, if it snaps, it should automatically be doing that way. Uh, and then we'll talk about how to break this into a corner. Okay.